Okay, we're back with a quick review of the HP Mini 1104. This is the latest from HP's business and education line. Uh, it is a Cedar Trail netbook, so it's the first of their Cedar Trails. It has an N2600 processor. It is dual core at 1.6 gigahertz, which is great. Uh, comes standard at the base level with one gig of RAM and a good size 54 watt hour uh, six cell battery, which will get you close to eight hours. It's not quite as big as the battery on the Asus uh, 1025C, but pretty close, so it's a, a good size battery. Um, you'll notice the design is very similar. If you've seen my prior reviews of the 1103, very similar to the 1103. Uh, they did, one of the big changes that's important on this one is they changed the corners a bit. The 1103 used to have notches here where the uh, hinges were exposed. So what would happen is you would bang those hinges against something and then the plastic would break off and HP charged a bunch of money to replace that plastic. So now you can see it's got nice smooth lines around the edges so you're not going to get that broken plastic corner issue anymore. Uh, let's take a look around the sides of it. We have our typical ports, uh, SD slot, uh, separate microphone headphone jack, which is always nice. Uh, we have a Kensington uh, key lock, two USBs, and an Ethernet on this side. And on the left side, we have VGA out, power, and another USB port. Now, notably absent on this model is the HDMI port. I have not seen another Cedar Trail netbook without an HDMI port, so I'm not sure why this one doesn't include it. Um, let's take a look on the inside really quick. Not a lot changed here, but still still a little bit. Um, if we take a look at the keyboard, we have the same keyboard as we had on the 1103. It is a great keyboard. It uh, really feels nice. One thing that they did do is they took the trackpad buttons and they moved them to the edge of the uh, display or the edge of the plastic here, which is a really nice touch. And you would think they would have taken the opportunity to increase the size of the trackpad, but unfortunately they just moved the keyboard closer to you, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I would have liked to have seen them leave the keyboard where it was and maybe make this trackpad a little bit bigger, but you know, not a huge deal. It still works fairly nicely. Um, standard webcam, of course, and we've got the fingerprint magnet uh, around the edge here. Now the 1104, as I said, is from their business and education line, so it's got a couple of uh, added features. It's got uh, trusted platform management for those of you who are worried about DRM and uh, securing your platforms. Kind of a silly feature. It's also got an accelerometer for uh, the hard drive to, to keep you from damaging it when you drop it. And it's got a spill-proof keyboard. For all of that, you have to pay about $349, which is a bit steep, I have to say. You know, compared to other netbooks that are out there at uh, $289 and, and less uh, with the same basic specs, you're paying an awful lot for that TPM module and, and a spill-proof keyboard that may or may not be spill-proof. Uh, if, if you're looking at HP and you really like HP, I would look at the uh, Mini 210 version of this, which essentially is the same netbook, uh, but it doesn't have the TPM and all, some of the other little features at 299 It's a little bit more competitive. Again, kind of a bummer. It's missing that uh, HDMI port, but uh, overall, it's not a bad machine. A little pricey, as I said. So uh, definitely works well with Ubermix and uh, other Linux distributions, so definitely worth having a look. But I, I think I'd probably look at some of the other options that are out there.